All right, Derek. I am going to preface this just so we have it on camera that some of these questions are in, in jest. But um, Pop thought you were ducking him. You, you scared of the Spurs now? <laughs> Uh, I feel like we kind of set him up for that one. Um, yeah, that's I, true. <laughs> I knew he was going to say something. Um, I told him I, I didn't want to uh, deal with all those different schemes and stuff he was going to throw at me that I know he was losing sleep over. He did. He said they game plan for you. And then you showed up in street clothes. And what you did on the sidelines was talk smack to Jalen Brown about his passing. <laughs> 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 Take me through the first play, and then uh, he had some words for you afterwards. Uh, well, I mean, I didn't really say much at, at the time of the first one. Um, obviously, he went for the behind the back, and then he was like, Peyton, just be running too fast, and <laughs> that's funny. But uh, then the second one happened, and I was just like, hey, you, you made sure that you got that one. He's like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't want him to have two turnovers with this. So um, we just started having a little bit of fun with it, and I think that's what the game's all about. How is the ankle? Because – up until this point, really, you haven't missed any games unless it was for the birth of a child. So yeah. I found it concerning. Nah, nah, I feel good. Uh, ready to go. Um, and also, I know your dad is back in town. What kind of conversations are they different when he's in person versus just texting you? <laughs> what does uh, he say afterwards? I mean, he just probably gets more he wants to say off his chest uh, in person. Uh, he's not the, the greatest texter. Um, he's an interesting texter, but... Uh, so he just kind of says a little bit more here, and it's, it's always great having uh, the grandparents in town. He's a fantastic tweeter. But I'm wondering, does he keep the same stats at home? Like, are you, does he time you how long it takes you to change a diaper? How many <laughs> have been changed? Who's <laughs> what your stats are? Uh, he does not do any home uh, no. statistics, but we, we need to challenge him to do a diaper. That, that should be the challenge. Mm, yeah, my dad won't do it. I've, yeah. I've asked. Yeah, he's, he's, he's refused so yeah. far. I respect it, honestly. Uh, right? That's, they've earned that right. They get, they get that choice. My mom, not so much. She, she, no. She's <laughs> doing the diapers. <laughs> and the naps. and the, yeah. They do it all. It's the best. Swaddling. Um, All-star voting, seventh in the last returns, in the top ten for the backcourt in the East. We talked about it. You feel like this is your best argument for that. What does it mean to you to be on that list? Um. I mean, at first, I just want to give a shout out to all the fans. Um, I mean, obviously, these Boston fans are, are the best, and I mean, I just continue to prove it um, with this. And um, I mean, I'm just thankful and grateful to, to be in the conversation. Um, so much talent in this league to just to be in the conversation is uh, really special for me. And so um, I just got to keep focusing on the, the important thing, which is winning games, and um, just continue to shout out the fans. All that being said, you do lead the NBA in net rating and plus minus. Don't you think you should be higher? Shouldn't that mean something? <laughs> um, I mean, it's a pretty cool stat. Um, I don't know who's led in the past, but um, I mean, it just I help us win games, and that's really all that matters to me. Absolutely. Um, okay, let's shift focus to tonight, taking on the reigning champs in the Denver Nuggets. What are the specific challenges, unique challenges to that team? Um, I mean, I think it all starts with Jokic, obviously. Um, does just a little bit of everything for them and uh, just creates so much um, action for them, uh, screening, off ball, uh, just different things he does for them. And then um, he's just surrounded by great players. I mean, Jamal Murray uh, can score with the best of them in this league. And then um, KCP. Uh, Michael Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon. I mean, they're just they're deep and they they got experience and they know how to play the right way. So it's definitely a challenge. And it is all five guys on the floor. But what role can the backcourt play in helping to deal with Jokic? Uh, I mean, try to um, show a crowd. I mean, as much as you can. Um, and also having those active hands. Um, try to get as much deflections as we can. Um, He's a great passer, obviously, and so um, just trying to be active, make it look crowded, and um, just fly around to the shooters and try to um, take them off their game. So uh, it's definitely a, it's going to be a challenge for 48 minutes, and uh, I think this is what you play for. It's going to be fun. You guys have been working on different defenses throughout the season. How much does that help going into a game like this? Yeah. Um, I mean, as the, as the season goes on and uh, – Teams get more familiar with each other. I think just having little wrinkles to throw at them, throw at teams is um, definitely for our advantage. And so uh, we just want to continue to get better at it, um, figure out little things to, to improve on, and um, just kind of throw each team off balance for a little bit. 
How much do you enjoy these marquee matchups? Yeah, um, I mean, me and KP were talking about it, like this is fun. This is these games are are the the easy ones to get up for, and um, this is what you play for. So, um, I mean, they're the reigning champs. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Earlier this week, you participated in a Fit for a Cause event with the Celtics and the community department. Uh, tell me a little bit about that and how important it is to get that message out. Yeah, um, I mean, I just was uh, talking about uh, being active. Um, we did a little sprints. We did vertical jumps. We did a, a couple other things. Then we went upstairs and talked about nutrition. So um, just trying to uh, motivate them to, to stay active. I mean, I think obviously health and nutrition is important no matter your age, but uh, the more you can learn as a, a young kid is important. And um, I think each school was, was going for a little something, uh, a gym renovation or a fitness center renovation. So um, just motivating them and try to give them a little bit of a, uh, information on nutrition and just having fun and staying active with it. Those messages are so important, especially now with screen time and how much that kind of thing is available. Uh, finally, did JJ Redick going on that podcast curse you in <laughs> your shooting? No, I didn't believe in it. Um, I mean, it's a long season. There's going to be ups and downs. Um, I wasn't going to shoot 60% or something the whole year. And so um, shout out JJ. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.